Hey, let's get active. I'm Coach Brill. Thank you for tuning in Teach Phys Ed. This is an overhand thrown activity that we use for our lower grades. You can adapt and modify it for the uppers if you would like to. And this is called Let It Fly. So here's things that we're using. We're using Beanie Babies. We're actually going to use these for throwing. You can use a rubber critter. Uh, you can use a ball. What, whatever you want to use. Kids love playing with these for some reason, right? Uh, we're also using hula hoops. And the cone is an option. Uh, the reason why I started using the cone is because when the kids throw and the hula hoop would always get hit, it slides everywhere. So this cone in there kind of helps prevent it from going too far out from where we want to keep it. And we scattered those all the way out down, going down the center of the gym, coming down both sides. We are going to use bean bags as our point system. That's right here inside this bucket. Normally when we go to play, we have it outside of the bucket, so it's laying on the floor. Uh, and our classes are bigger. And we got enough space, so some friends will play by themselves if they want to, or they can play with a partner. Uh, if they have with partner, obviously they're going to share a Beanie Baby. If they're playing by themselves, they would get their own. So we talked about that overhand throw, and we discussed it, and we talked about the critical elements and what we're looking for. So the students are going to take turns with that partner, using that overhand throw, trying to get their Beanie Baby to land and stay inside the hula hoop. Now, mine did not stay in the hula hoop. So I would run out and pick up my Beanie Baby and run back and hand it to my partner. And then it would be my partner's turn. If I'm playing by myself, I would go back and I would do my overhand throw again. So let's see if I can make it this time. So then I would do my overhand throw again and I overshot it again. Now sometimes it'll roll and slide into a hula hoop and we let them count that as long as it stays inside the hula hoop. If mine stays inside the hula hoop, I get my animal. I go to the middle and I get one bean bag. And I go on back to the side. Now, put the beanbag on the ground, and I keep throwing. Or I give it to my partner, and then my partner throws. Once we are out of beanbags, we determine a winner. We'll look and have them uh, say, who's got a purple beanbag? And all those teams will be our winners. I also have those numbers written on mine to help with different things. And I might say, who's got the red number one? And that team would be our winning team. And then we bring it back to the middle, and we play again if not time allowed. Kids really seem to enjoy this one, and I hope yours do as well. I'm Coach Pearl reminding you to keep on moving.